welcome to this episode of Jumbo Africa. I am your host, Bola. The intimate exchange between two persons who were seated in a wooden bench went on for more than 30 minutes. The one sitting on the left is Grandma Choga, a community healthcare worker of an organization named the Friendship Bench. The Friendship Bench, what is that? Today we will get to know this warming organization in Zimbabwe. Rosemary Choga is a member of the Friendship Bench. It trains grandmothers who work as community health promoters for the city health department to provide mental health support to people suffering from common mental issues such as anxiety and depression. <laughs> As the name Friendship Bench suggests, sessions often take place on wooden benches which are usually placed at community health centers where clients can confidentially speak with grandmothers about their problems. We have got uh, an intervention that we use that is called uh, problem-solving therapy. So what we do is we uh, train cadres, mostly our grandmothers, in terms of delivering this um, problem-solving uh, therapy so that as they are in their communities, they come across people with uh, issues to do with uh, mental health challenges. When clients come to the benches seeking mental health services, they are screened with a symptoms questionnaire to determine the state of their mental health. In this way, grandmothers can help them to identify their problems and find their own solutions. The program came from the necessity to find a space to offer mental health assistance, which was not widely available at primary health care centers before. When we train them on the problem-solving uh, therapy, they are able to sit with their clients on the friendship bench. And on the friendship bench, what they do is they create a safe space uh, for the client. And the client is able to verbalize or talk about whatever is affecting him or her. Grandmothers are often best equipped to provide care because they have got the wisdom and have the patience to listen and guide their clients toward a solution bit by bit. In addition, clients are also invited to take part in the income generation component of the Friendship Bench. They are taught to make bags out of recycled materials and learn to share their stories with others. In a country where clinical services for mental health care are extremely limited, the Friendship Benches community-based psychosocial interventions are helpful in tackling mental health challenges. Since its formation in 2006, the program has trained more than 400 community members. There are now more than 100 Friendship Benches distributed among 72 health centers in Harare. And to date, over 80,000 people have accessed treatment free of charge. The concept has now been expanded to other countries, providing a blueprint for alleviating challenges of mental health. There's also work being done to train young people to offer therapy to their peers as a means of making the benches accessible to young people in colleges and universities. The COVID-19 pandemic have negatively affected many people's mental health and created additional challenges for people already suffering from mental health illness. 
Thanks to our warm-hearted grandmothers, things are getting better. That's all I have for you for today's episode of Jumbo Africa. I will meet you in the next episode. See you next time.